and we're going to be doing a survival world. And this is going to be my recorded one, which means it's my te uh, technically it's my secondary survival. And you guys are probably wondering what happened to the old one, because I did two episodes of a different one. Well, now that I got my mic, fix, uh, my mic fixed, I realized it would be better to get a fresh start. Uh, so yeah, here we are. And dude, this world looks cool already. Well, here we are, my dudes. So we spawned next to a swamp. And forest, desert, and all that stuff. And a ravine, actually. So, now we've got our stuff. I believe we should murder these sheep, just so we can get ourselves wool for a bed, because we are going to want to sleep. Because this world's actually going to be locked on hard mode, permanently. Because I decided that, that that's fair, so... If we just kill this guy, and we kill about three of them, we can get ourselves uh, wool for a bed. And the bed will be important. We need to sleep. I think I already said that. I'm not sure. I don't know. But let's let's set ourselves up. And now that it's 2018, I'm repeating most of the things I said in my other episode, just because. Well, because I I I am not expecting you to watch it. I'm not gonna delete the videos just because they're recorded as a kind of like a new thing special. So you can check those out in case. You want to see them, but my bum telling you the quality is really bad. All right, anyways, let's head this way, now, which is, I believe, okay. This is south, so to the southern desert, and we'll set up ourselves with a pretty cool base. I have a plan for what I'm gonna build my base, but it's gonna require me to do a lot of mining and a lot of raiding too, because I believe there should be some uh, desert temples out here that we're gonna need to. To kind of just wrinkle, disassemble. Well, actually, right now I believe what we should do is actually hunt down a desert temple and set that up as our base. Because that's what we're going to need. Alright. I believe we shall migrate over to Savannah. Because those are really cool biomes. We'll still live in the desert. We might just have a cross over base. Which would be fun to deal with. And there's just some caves here and I have a plan for my first house actually it is gonna be just simply a tower and it will it'll go slightly large but it'll just mainly be kind of like a fortress almost and the fortress will look pretty cool and because of the fact that actually a shape a acacia wood actually looks like a stone and it goes it goes good with stone don't get me wrong that's how we're gonna build this fortress and we'll have like a desert part and a savannah part so let's begin on the savannah part for now we're gonna need to set ourselves up this will be this will be this will be pretty important too i do by the way so we're gonna need to make ourselves a quarry let's just build a quarry right around here, which will help us get ourselves some important resources. Ah, uh, yes, we got ourselves Stone Age. I believe that's our first advancement. Yeah, Stone Age. And now we can craft ourselves a uh, stone pickaxe and we can keep digging for this cobblestone because cobblestone will be one of our main supplies we're going to be using if you did not know I, I would have hoped you know but if you didn't know I'm sorry yeah we're going to be using cobblestone and getting started on this this, this cute little base here now, many of you might be confused why I restarted this series. I had two episodes, and I just I just restarted because, well, my mic got fixed, and it's it's gonna be better now because we're actually gonna have uh, another one coming out of this. Another two actually. We're gonna have Project Ozone Light and Minecraft Windows 10 Edition Survival. So both of those will be born out of this one survival world. So those will be series. Series going on 
at the exact same time as this one is. And also we'll continue the Windcraft one. So yeah, uh, finally now that my new PC is like officially set up, technically because the mic's been fixed, I can go crazy with videos. So I hope you all are excited because I sure am. And yeah, let's begin our world by mining ourselves some iron to begin our beautiful castle fortress we are going to be building. Alright, we're going to need ourselves some torches because it is slight, not slightly, a lot dark in here. And we need to start lighting up the area. And it's good that we have this coal deposit down here because this is going to be a large base, my dudes, I'm planning to build. And trust me, Sarfnik is, is a, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty good creative person when it comes to building bases. And it's, it's generally been my thing since I've joined Minecraft to build huge bases. And I believe we need a name for this place. And I have an idea for this uh, name we can come upon with us. And I shall name it uh, Castle Ravestone, which would be like this, Ravestone. And it is not going to be medieval. It's going to be more of like my mixed idea of medieval. So it's not really going to have a medieval feel to it. It's going to be more like a ruined palace in a dry land, per se. Fortress of society. And we can get started with the build palette. So andesite, these are kind of some of the base blocks we're going to have. So let me just start setting it up. This. And we'll, we'll turn this around so it looks better. How does this look so far? Let's get ourselves some space. Also, we're going to need to sleep because darkness is coming as the sun sets. Anyways, and I believe we should mix in some uh, polish andesite, which I do need to get myself some more andesite for. Also, we got to start smelting up food because I am a bit hungry. That was a bit of an understatement, but whatever. And for the desert part of this base, we're actually going to start work on that later. But this would be our quarry here. You see this? This would be our quarry here with that. And actually, this base, I know I said there wouldn't be any medieval parts of it. Almost will remind me of Great Zimbabwe. If you've never heard about it, I don't blame you. It's not that much of a popular topic. But if you have heard about it, uh, congrats. Because you are actually a smart human being, bro. So, Great Zimbabwe, this will be a lot like the kingdom, I think. I don't know if, yeah, it was a, it was a kingdom. And they, they overgrazed their lands, which kind of fears, makes me afraid because, well, I do have a lot of animals around here. But yeah, here is what we've been looking for. Just a good quarry of andesite. And andesite will be an important resource because... It's like a variant to cobblestone and stone. But at the same time, I don't want to be using that much smooth stone because of the fact that not only is it hard to get, but also it just looks unrealistic in a situation like a wall like that. So that won't be as important to me. And today I just want to get the base part of the walls down because we have a lot more work we can be doing over this series. We probably got like around a year to actually finish this base, even though I'll probably set myself a goal of a couple months. This series will probably end in a year, because this is only season one of my survival, and I hopefully I'll be extending it to longer. Hopefully I won't cancel it. I, I probably won't cancel this. And, ah, our first our first mob. The problem is we have a wooden sword, so this guy's going to be like, I'm literally fighting this dude with a bat right now. Alright, there we go. Guy's dead. And we can keep exploring these caves. Alright, here's my current build palette. Does this look good? Uh, I need you guys' opinions. But 
Yeah, I interpreted some buttons here, which, which look good. The the andesite and the cobblestone looks good. Maybe you could put some smooth stone here. I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, with the uh, acacia wood, it looks perfect. It's just that I couldn't do this, which kind of made me mad. Because I liked it to jut out, but the orange texture isn't my thing. But soon we'll be getting bark blocks in like 1.13, I believe. Which will definitely make this look much better. So hopefully this wall will be edited once 1.13 comes out. Like stuff like here, where I can just like make it so this texture is on here. While it's still on all of these sides. Uh, I believe you can craft it if you do like something like this. I'm not sure yet. Uh, nothing can confirm. So, yeah. And, anyways, uh, with the hold on, with the polished, with with this the polished in the site, I feel like it looks terrible on like the walls because what I did was I put them here, not like that. But on the ground, definitely it looks a lot better, and it could fit like, way better. And I believe that's about it for this uh, building pile. I've also been uh, cutting down these uh, acacia trees. Just slowly getting my, my uh, wood supply up. They're actually kind of hard to cut down. Surprisingly, you think they're easy. But they're actually really not. But anyways, I believe that's going to do it for this episode. I mean, there's still a lot of off-camera work I need to get done. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, the next video coming out will be the Project Ozone Fight Episode 1. I, I hope you guys check that out. I actually already recorded it. I recorded before I recorded this episode. Uh, because I wasn't... Because that's when I fixed my mic. So, check that out. It's going to be coming out shortly. There will be a little bit of a sneak peek after this video of it. Which I'm going to try doing. And also, more the other ones I mentioned, Minecraft's going to be continuing. Uh, I might do an episode like tomorrow, and then uh, Minecraft Windows 10 edition. That will be coming out in probably about a couple days. Or the first, but what I mean by coming out is that the series will be starting in a couple of days. So anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Definitely gotta take on the mines. Also, we gotta start lighting up this area better. Because although we do have a lot of coal uh, and sticks, it's going to take a lot of resources to start this place up. Trust me. And to make it look like Great Zimbabwe, which is kind of what I'm going for. Anyways, see you guys later. So here we are on, well, that magnificent Sky Island. And I've never done modded series ever in Minecraft, ever. So, yeah, this will be pretty interesting. There's going to be... A lot, and I mean, a lot of stuff that I can do. So, well, let's not get into that right away.